Well, are you going to fight me? I'm going to have to shove you around a little. I think it's time for you to leave, Darcy. Leave? Ah, oh, we ain't even started yet. I don't go nowhere until I finish you off. It's no use. I wouldn't fight you even if I knew how. Oh, everybody knows how, honey. Why don't I just show you? Shoving me around isn't going to prove anything, Darcy. Oh, uh, no, maybe not, but it's going to make me feel a lot better. Come on, fight me, sister. Fight me for Lou Jack. Come on, go ahead. Take a swing. Come on. Darcy! Oh, no, no, Darcy, knock it off! No, she's got to pay it. I'm collecting. You're not going to change anything by going after Beth. If Lou Jack, let her go. I can fight my own fight. No. Let me go. No, this is between Darcy and me. It's Galahad business. Let me go. Come on, honey. We're going to go get some coffee. Darcy, they need to be alone. Darcy, let chill me go. Out. Chill out. Chill out. Come here. Come here. Oh. Darcy. Come on. It's okay. Please don't leave me. Don't throw me away. I miss you. Darcy. I'm sorry. I'm real sorry. But don't you see, you don't belong here. You don't belong with her. You Darcy, belong with me. Darcy, look at me. Look at me. Here. Come here. Sit down. Just relax, okay? Look. I do belong here, Darcy. I know that now, and I'm going to stay here. <laughs> You're going to do fine without me, I promise. You just got to stop fighting the world all the time, man. You find out it's not such a bad place to be. <laughs> what are you doing here? You disgust me. Get away from me. You come back here to cause trouble? No, I'm on my way to church. No, she came by to see me, okay? It's cool. Listen, all right, I'm not Helen Keller. I can speak for myself. No, I stopped by for a drink. Want to check my ID? Darcy, just look. Let it go. You're only hurting yourself. Wrong. I'm going to hurt you and your little princess. See you around. Where you going? <laughs> Oh, excuse us. This evening's getting off to a flying start. What do you say? Could have taken her in a fair fight, I think. Did Darcy hurt you? No. I'm real sorry she came by. She, she just freaked out. I almost hit her, Lou Jack. I don't believe it, but I almost hit her. Can't stand being pushed like that after breath. Look, I said I'm sorry, Beth. But it's over now, right? Hey. What are we doing here anyway? We have a dinner engagement. My old ladies, right? Great. Come on. <laughs> I'm so sorry we're late. We were. Oh, uh, look, it was my fault, okay? It doesn't matter. You're here now, and I'm glad to see both of you. Right. Hi, Beth. Hi, Mike. How are you? Oh, hi, Mama. Oh. You look quite handsome tonight. Thanks, um, but they're not my threads, they're Tony's. He threatened me with hard labor if I don't wear them tonight. <laughs> but nice. Yeah, well, they ain't exactly my style, oh, you know? nonsense. They suit you perfectly. Perhaps we could go shopping one day. I've been known to give the word charge new meaning. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I um, don't think the Baroness wants me here tonight. Oh, don't be silly, Mama. She invited Mike. So? Just look at him. I mean, he's her date. Beth, <laughs> It, but I, I'm feeling jealous. I really like Mike. Oh, and he likes you too. I'm sure it's not what you think champagne? it is, really. Oh, I hope not. Day. Come on, let's just have some champagne. Okay? Oh, thank you. like to propose the first toast. Beth. Brandon. Much happiness in your new life together. And a 
Mike. My ace flying instructor. <laughs> Thank you for your nerves of steel up there in the wild blue yonder. <laughs> you really fly your own plane, man? Yeah. I used to fly for the Navy. Wow, that's amazing. And you're teaching her how to fly? Yeah, well, now that's amazing. <laughs> you know, Mike teaching the Baroness how to fly is sort of like Lee, Lou Jack teaching me how to drive, isn't it, Mama? Yes, honey, it is. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think that's the way it is, Mrs. Raines. I bet the Baroness here hasn't clipped any mailboxes at 10,000 feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm free if you want to learn how to fly a plane. I never pegged you for having that kind of guts. Oh, then you have a lot to learn about me. I loved it up there. I've never felt so free. If you want to learn sometime, I'd be glad to teach you. Maybe we can get a group discount, huh? <laughs> Come on, Jack, that'd be a great idea. Whoa, wait, hold on here. I like my wheels on the ground, you know? <laughs> my brave man. <laughs> Stella. Hi, everybody. Nice to see you. What can I do for you? Nothing, Aunt Alex. I'm, uh, I'm sorry to barge in your little party here. I just came to get Beth. Philip, darling, I don't think Beth wants to leave with you now. We were just about to sit down to dinner. Okay, what well, I just want to say, Beth, can I talk to you for just a minute, please? Philip, just please don't cause a scene. Hey, what I'm now? not causing any trouble on Alex. I just want to talk to Beth for a minute. That's all. The means ain't a good time, no. man. Yeah? yeah? Philip. Uh, Philip. Sit down. I think it would be best if you left. Why? Why? Mike, I'm not causing any trouble. It's all right. Philip, please. Look. It's okay. Brandon, I think you look very nice in that jacket. Almost like a real preppy. Almost. Thanks. You're welcome. Are we turning over a new leaf? Are we going to be a real Spalding after all? Philip, please don't. Okay. Can we just get out of here? No. I don't want to go with you. Philip, <laughs> have you been drinking? No, Aunt Alex, I haven't been drinking, but boy, I wish I had a bottle right now. I could use a drink looking at this. Boy, this punk has taken my place. Yeah! Look at him sitting here with my girl in my house, being wine and dined by my aunt. This is great! And it is my son, Philip, please. Oh, boy, I miss my dad. Philip. No, I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. I'm sorry. I tell you what, uh, I apologize. I want you all to really make yourselves at home. I want you to just uh, eat, drink, and be merry, all right? Please excuse me. Philip. No, Beth. No, I can't let him just go like that. I've got to at okay, least talk you to him. stay here. I'll talk to him. Brandon, please, I don't think that's a good idea. Look, that guy thinks I'm the cause of all his problems. Maybe I should at least try to get through to him, right? Okay, Brandon, old sport. You got something to say to me? Spit it out. What is it? You gotta stop doing this to Beth. You're only hurting her. Oh, I'm hurting her, huh? Yeah, you are hurting her. You are gonna drive her crazy going after her like this. She don't need that from you. Don't you tell me what she needs from me, pal. She belongs with me and I will chase her to hell and back if I feel like it. Can't you see that it's over between you two? Uh-uh. Beth is with me now. Uh-uh. Wrong. That's what she wants. No, sorry, pal. I don't buy it. You did something to her. What? Yeah. I didn't do nothing to her. Yeah, you did because that's not Beth. She wouldn't do this. You did something to screw her up. What was it? I love Beth. And she loves me. That's all there is to it. Come on, Lou Jack. What is it with you, huh? What's with this little game you're playing, this little routine? Who are you trying to fool? Mr. Tough Punk one day, huh? Where's the tough punk? Or is this uh, Mr. Class Strato in love with the girl next door today, huh? I hope you're not doing it for my Beth because you're not fooling me, pal. I love Beth. And she loves me. What I can't figure out, though, is how you fooled all those people in there. How the hell did you do that, Lou Jack? Especially Beth. You're a real pro, aren't you? I really underestimated you. Look. I'm not the same person. <laughs> oh, you're not? I changed. Yeah? 
I left the Galahads. They were nothing but trouble for me. Now, Beth made me see that. Ah, okay. So you, I didn't know that. Now, did you change before or after you sent the Galahads to hit me? I had nothing to do with them hitting on you. No, it never should have happened, and I'm sorry. Say the Blue Jack. I'm not interested in your lies. Come on, can't you be honest even just for a minute? You've had it out for me since the first time you laid your eyes on me. Come on. I had nothing to do with them hitting on you. I'll tell you one thing, though, man. You are fast. That's one thing I didn't figure on. You get your little boys to come over and knock on me. I'm in the hospital. And you pull your little sneaky moves out and pull Beth right out. That's not the way it happened. Yep. Well, let me tell you how it is. I'm going to even the score of hell. By the time I get finished with you, you are going to know the real meaning of the word loser. So you better enjoy all this while it lasts, because it's not going to be here long. Brandon, could you please come back inside, please? I'd like to talk to Philip alone. Uh, no, that's okay. I don't think we need to talk. I don't want to talk to anybody else tonight, okay? So I know you just want me to understand, but see, I do. It's all very clear to me. It's clear as a bell. Everything here is wrong. But I'm going to fix it. Enough of this. Let's go into dinner. Try to enjoy ourselves. Good idea. Aren't you hungry? Fairness, uh, I hope you wouldn't mind if I didn't stay. I'd like to go home. I'll take you. Come on. No, you can't let Philip spoil the evening. I have such a nice dinner planned. I'm sorry, but I, I just can't stop thinking about Philip. He doesn't have anybody now. Look, can you just tell everybody we had a split, okay? This whole night's been one lost cause. But what about dinner? You have to eat I'm something. Sorry. Good night. Brandon, please. 